Right YouTube, uh, this is Wow Sly with the VR2 Forest Prepper. Um, he's 250 subs comp, um, and it's on stoves. I'm just doing this as a focus point at the moment. Um, still a work in progress for those that have been watching. I've now screwed uh, a triple adapter there for solar panels so I can plug three panels in. <clears throat> just got one of the two plugged in at the moment and I've ordered another one of these to be screwed in there for power going out uh, and more USB pocket ports because that one's sort of uh, round and I can't sort of screw it into the wall so I've ordered a square one and some more USB lights so all my lights are down at the moment um, as I've just sort of took them down in advance getting ready for the, the new ones to turn up so, forest prepper, um, there's my little control panel, update with the emergency bulkhead light, and uh, got several LED lights, but as I said, just took them all down, but they're in the other videos. Right, <coughs> homemade, all homemade, look at the junk on my desk, I've even got a chest of drawers on my desk. Right, my first um, and latest stove is my wood gas stove, it's made out of uh, an old chrome stainless steel coffee tin um, I'll use this one because that one's wet and dirty I flipped it upside down drilled holes around the bottom cut a hole in the top put a tin can in there with holes in the tin can and so on um, then the first pot stand I made was just a, a bit of wire to hold the, the pot but it was too much of a wind trap the wind just took the flames away so I come up with this. Um, put it on, it's just got a lot of smoke. There wasn't enough holes and it's a bit flimsy. Um, so yeah, trial and error is always good. So we ditched that and then we come up with this one. <coughs> uh, it's got a hole at the base which sort of forces the air, hot air out of those holes and it ignites. And then the smaller diameter hole there. Um, so we get the jets coming up really high. Um, so it can be used like a lantern and there's more holes in this so it works fantastic the idea of this is it's uh, smokeless see all the gunk in the bottom um, yeah it's totally smokeless so it's great for stealth during the day um, you put your sticks in you top light it you put your windshield on helps it light a lot quicker and it, it burns fantastic I get about 25 minutes out of it uh, with just literally a handful of sticks yeah, it gets sucked in the bottom, cold air, gets mixed with the gas that gets sucked down through the bottom of the holes. Um, and it heats up in the chamber and as the hot air mixed with the wood gas is forced out of the holes around the top of here, um, it ignites from the burn chamber. Um, and then you get a nice white flame uh, with no smoke. And then the pot stand, but the pot stand, obviously the, the bottom comes off and the pot stand fits inside and uh, you just get to carry that around. But it, it's wet and dirty, it's been in the garden for a couple of days because uh, we had a barbecue party the other day and uh, after the barbecue for the treat for the kids, they uh, we all had marshmallows, uh, toasted marshmallows. So we'll stick that on there, out of the way. Uh, one shelf up, I've got another one of these floating shelves to go up, probably do that later today when I get a chance. And we'll go on to my one of the first stoves I made a couple of years ago. Still going strong now. Pop can stove, beer can stove, meth stove, alcohol stove. Uh, different names. 16 holes around the side there. Uh, they work better than when I had them on the top. I did originally have the holes around the top here facing upwards, but they were smothered when something flat went on top. So I've moved them just to the side. You can just about see them. Not so well. Right, let's use a pointy thing. Holes are literally just. I'm not even watching what I'm doing. Around the side of the rim, as opposed to when they were on top of it. So that works brilliantly. I've used this one constantly everywhere. It's had so much use. Very light, compact, and I only have about three bottles of these in the bag. Uh, I can get three cups of coffee out of each bottle. Use about that much. One cup two cup and then a three cup um, 
light it, it takes about 20 to 40 seconds to ignite the jets. Um, you can put your mess tin strut on it, crusader cup, or it works in conjunction with my third stove. First one I gave away. Utensil holder from a supermarket. You can buy these anywhere. Uh, cut a hole in the front. The first one had a bigger hole. This one works as fine. Um, foot of sticks, rubbish, whatever you want. It's a hobo stove. Um, burns really well. On a campsite with a family, we weren't allowed fires. Um, it's technically a stove. So we had this outside the tent and we sat there toasting marshmallows, glass of wine, bottle of beer in the evening. Kept nice and warm from big gigantic flames. Um, but I put a couple of co chopped down tent pegs in there so they sort of don't stick out the other side too far and it becomes a brilliant little windbreak stroke stand um, so I can use my mess stove in there put my crusader cup on there my me mess tins on there I've had frying pans on there for eggy bread and almost bre all day breakfast that burns for I think 14 15 minutes so a good 15 minutes out of that I've got videos where I've done experiments with uh, I think three of them because I've got a few more of these um, so they work separately they work together and then there's the um, wood gasifier which is also stealth very lightweight compact um, and most importantly no smoke no smoke at all we've used it quite a lot now and we use it a lot in the garden too for uh, toasted marshmallows but I, I did just love the hobo stove um, I thought it was fantastic, but sometimes a pig to light, you know, you got to try and light it from the bottom and feed stuff in it to keep it alight. Um, pop stand cans, pop can stoves are great, but you know, you got to keep buying fuel. Um, but it's all about the bushcraft, and of course, you just find the sticks and uh, you fill that with sticks, um, light it from the top, and that's it. Basically, you can start cooking on it straight away. Uh, that burns for about 25 minutes. I think the most I've had out of it um, but then the coals at the bottom stay hot for about 10 more minutes so you could obviously when you've cooked your meal or your coffee you could leave your cup on top of it and it would keep it warm for probably a good half an hour afterwards um, so there's my three stoves my uh, wood gasifier homemade my pop can stove uh, homemade and um, my hobo stove it's kind of homemade but all I've done was um, cut a hole at the front um, all very cheap, all very lightweight, all quite compact. I could actually, in theory, put that inside the uh, wood gasifier and then put the wood gasifier inside here. So I could carry all three stoves sort of about that size. Um, but I don't need three stoves. This one's great. Uh, if you don't want a fire pit, you don't want a big fire, you can just um, constantly feed sticks into that all night. Um, I've used sticks in it about an inch and a half thick and just kept feeding them in every few minutes and um, you know it was as good as a small campfire it does its job really well right so that's it I'd best not bore you any longer uh, I'd better get in the house if I start here I'll start fiddling with something and I'll never get in the house um, so well done your 250 subs there force prepper um, sorry I couldn't go up to the uh, little 100 pepper meat uh, the other week it's uh, a bit of a shame but new job can't get the time off work and all that so I was a bit gutted I was really really hoping to get up for it but uh, yeah and I'm not at the bushcraft show either <laughs> I'm having a bad year for going places but obviously other things come first uh, I haven't been out overnight for a while I'm trying to get out soon but you know busy busy life um, but will obviously will be pa taking part in um, my event this year, same as last year. Uh, shift two, shit at the f well, shit at the fan two. Um, you see my Facebook group for that. There's links on my uh, channel um, for the UK shit at the fan scenario bug out weekend. I think it's called the full title. Very long winded. Uh, and I'll probably be taking all three of these stoves for the weekend. Uh, no, I'll just be taking these two. Yeah, I'll just take the mess stove and that one for the weekend. Okay, right. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for Forest Pepper. Check out his channel. Um, 
ladies, check out the onesie video. Wow, hello. And uh, the rest of you, check out the uh, <laughs> the bushcraft videos, the prepper videos, the solar videos. Um, there's a lot on the channel. Um, I think, what was it? 25 videos or something? And 250 uh, subs? Not bad at all.